Good afternoon. Um, today is August 1st, 2023. Uh, I received a word from the Lord today around 11 a.m. Uh, he wants to address this to the children of God, and he did emphasize to me that that means those who call themselves his children, whether they are or not. He wants me to start by reading Ezekiel 3, starting at verse 16 all the way through verse 20, and then also to read to you verse 27. And at the end of the seven days, the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel. Whenever you hear a word from my mouth, you shall give them warning from me. If I say to the wicked, you shall surely die, and you give him no warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way in order to save his life, that wicked person shall die for his iniquity, but his blood I will require at your hand. But if you warn the wicked and he does not turn from his wickedness or from his wicked way, he shall die for his iniquity, but you will have delivered your soul. Again, if a righteous person turns from his righteousness and commits injustice, I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die. Because you have not warned him, he shall die for his sin, and his righteous deeds that he has done shall not be remembered, but his blood I will require at your hand. But if you warn the righteous person not to sin, and he does not sin, he shall surely live, because he took warning and you will have delivered your soul. Verse 27, But when I speak with you, I will open your mouth, and you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord God, He will hear. He who will hear, let him hear, and he who will refuse to hear, let him refuse, for they are a rebellious house. The Bible encourages us to test every spirit. So I do not expect you to take my word for it. I want you to take this back to the Lord in prayer. For the record, I believe that Jesus is the Son of God, God manifested in flesh. I believe God to be a triune God, the Godhead, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I believe that Jesus died on a cross and three days later he was resurrected from the dead. That being said, this is what the Lord said. Listen closely. As darkness closes in, you must not let it overtake you. You are to change them, not let them change you. I am sending you out as sheep among wolves. You will be hated for my namesake. Your words will be counted as foolishness to those who are perishing, but to those who have ears to hear, they will be life-giving. They are a perverse and crooked generation. There is no fear of God before their eyes. They love their darkness more than the light, but there will be no excuse on judgment day, for they will all have heard of me from the least to the greatest if they reject me on earth, I will reject them before the Father in heaven. Many are choosing to pay a debt that was already settled for the temporary pleasures of this world, forfeiting their own soul to satisfy their insatiable lust. What a price they will pay for their rebellion. Hell was created for the devil and his angels. I call all day to a people who have gone deaf, who shut their ears to my invitation, who reject my word, scoff at my prophets and mock them. Their punishment is just. Many of them are being handed over to full depravity, of which there are no limits. Perversion meted out in full measure, their consciences being seared as with a hot iron. Their sin is causing a great separation between them and me. Hatred has consumed their hearts. They refuse to forgive or be forgiven. And so I have shut my ears to their cries. They have become a reprobate. If the eye is full of light, the whole body will be full of light. But the eye, if the eye is full of darkness, how deep that darkness can be. I have given them over to what they have chosen. The wages of sin is death, 
The road to destruction is broad. Those who have ears to hear, let them hear. If you come to a full knowledge of the truth, if you have tasted and seen that I am good, if you have witnessed my delivering power only to go back to your vomit time and time again, there remains no sacrifice for your sin, for you are nailing me to the cross once again, crucifying me twice. My steadfast love endures forever. Nothing can separate you from my love, but you can choose to reject it. Those who sow destruction will reap the same. You do not love me unless you obey my commands. My greatest command is love. Love for me and love for your neighbor. All of the commands are summed up in the first two. You cannot possibly love me if you do the things I hate with no remorse. You cannot possibly love me if you treat those in kingly attire better than you treat those who are destitute, poor, and homeless. You cannot possibly love me if you turn a blind eye to the suffering of my people. You cannot possibly love me if you hate your brother. For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Many of you reveal who you belong to the minute you open your mouth to speak. Your mouth is filled with bitterness and cursing. Venom drips from your lips. You know no mercy. So how is it that you claim to know me? I am a merciful God. My mercy is new at the rising of the sun. Many of you are harboring grudges and you refuse to let them go and then wonder why your prayers are not being answered. You wonder why your cries are being ignored. You want mercy from me, but where is yours? You want my forgiveness, yet refuse it for another. You are to forgive 70 times 7. You are to bless your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Some of you are withholding prayer out of spite when your prayer could be the catalyst in changing that person's heart. My word is clear. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. But to those who withhold it, mercy will not be shown when you need it most. You are to be the salt of the earth. Salt purifies. Sweet and bitter water cannot come from the same spring. You bless me with the same mouth you curse your neighbors, parents, co-workers, and children with. Those things should not be. I am a wellspring of life to those who keep my commands, to those who forsake their old ways. Allow me to come into their heart and filter out all the useless dross. I promised to put a right spirit within you and circumcise every foolish, darkened heart, but you must repent. You must turn your eyes away from worthless things. You must be cleansed of all unrighteousness by my spirit. You must be born again. If old things don't pass away, how will all things become new?